sketching by Frankie Biggs. Art. When we were sketching, I had to learn lots of different techniques. This is what I did. Shading and smudging. First, I had to practice my shading and smudging on some paper. I also practiced sketching some lips and eyes. Projecting the photo. We all needed a photo of ourselves. Once I had my photo, I projected it onto the whiteboard, then sketched my outline. You really need to look at the light and dark, otherwise it won't look right. Doing your sketch, you, you need to look at what's actually there. You can't draw a line where your hair and forehead meet because there is no line. And don't draw a line up your nose because, again, there is no line. When you sketch, you don't colour in. So when I was sketching, I made sure to pick up on those things. Do they look alike? Making progress. It was hard, but you can see the progress in my art. Making things round is also something you have to do. Hair and outline. I decided to sketch my chin first. Then I joined on my ears, trying to make things darker as I go. Then I sketched my hair by drawing small lines going up since it's in a ponytail. I also had to sketch the actual ponytail. I sketched the shape then made bits darker. I also had to put in highlights. Features. Then I moved on to the nose. So like I said, you don't draw a line up it, just sketch the bottom because the rest is shading. Then I started on the lips. Can you tell I'm avoiding the eyes? To do the lips, I had to make them look round. To do that, I shaded the top dark and the bottom light. I also had to do my teeth. You shouldn't smudge them because if you do, they won't stand out like they should. Then I had to do the eyes. First, I sketched the shape. Then I sketched the iris and the pupil. I also had to remember to put in the tear duct, which is that pointy bit in the corner of your eye. I also sketched my eyebrows. Neck and collar. After that, I did the neck and collar. To do the neck, I had to shade it to bring out my chin. I also had to make it look round. Then I started to sketch my collar, and again, it has to look round. It's hard, but I got better at it. You just need to sketch little lines on an angle. I did it. Then I was finished my first draft. I took it off the projector and went to add the shading to and make things darker. Round stuff. After I had done three drafts, we practiced making things round. Then I added my new rounding skills to my art. The chosen one. I've done multiple pieces of art, improving on some. I wonder which one will be the chosen one. That's the chosen one. The struggles. This is my failed art. I was so annoyed the projector kept moving and so did my paper. You can see it's only half finished. I couldn't get it back to the same size, so this is the result. It was so, 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 annoying. Tip, don't bump the projector. It's annoying. Some learning. I did some learning on this piece of my art. I learnt that some pencils look different. In this case, the pencil was very dark. I hated my fourth draft. You can see the lines are quite harsh. I think I'll stick to the lead pencil. Progress. This is my progress from one to five. Thank you.